Welcome everybody to another video. I'm down on the River Eden. To everybody who's liked, commented and subscribed, thank you very much. It really does make a difference to keeping me going. If you haven't already done so, please click this button down here, this subscribe button. That subscribe button took me the best part of two hours one evening to install that. Lots of frustration. But anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Hello everyone. I'm down at the South Norwood stretch of the River Eden. Uh, they're open to members. I thought I'd give you an explanation of the Eden Revival and uh, what I was hoping to do. Uh, we've got five aims for five years. I'll go through the five aims one by one. Nothing to do with fishing. Thought you might like to see a picture of a cute little chick. Aim one, I brought you to the Vexar Bridge section of the River Eden controlled by Tunbridge Angling Club. I learnt to fish here with the likes of John Cackett, Dave Lee, Jason Lee, Terry Kane and a few others, had some fantastic memories here. But anyway, aim one is to improve fish stocks and fish diversity. There's lots of different types of fish in the River Eden. We've got chub, bream, tench, carp, barbel, dace, roach, perch, pike, just about any, everything. We're really trying, me personally, are trying to improve the barbel stocks and create the right habitats by improving spawning sites and creating fry shelters and reducing predation. So we're cleaning gravels, creating fry shelters in shallow areas and reducing predation, mainly cormorants, mink and crayfish. Although the mink and crayfish, we're reviewing that, I think they sort of balance each other out. So let's go on to aim two. Right, for aim two of the Eden Revival, reducing predation, I brought you to the upstream end of Vexar Bridge. Uh, up there, is controlled by Royal Tunbridge Wells. There's a waiting list for that, very popular cub, has some big barbel on the River Medway. Anyway, reducing predation. We've applied for a cormorant license to cull the cormorants. Unfortunately, this part of the River Eden catchment is between Bow Beach Reservoir and Heaver Lake, and there's a big roosting colony of upwards of 50 birds on Bow Beach. We've successfully applied for a cormorant license to cull them and have started to shoot two birds a season. We've also applied for crayfish traps and uh, are trapping the mink. We've been quite successful in trapping the mink, but in their scats, we found a lot of crayfish shells and I, the crayfish monitoring that I've done, I haven't actually found that many crayfish. So I think the mink are canceling out the crayfish and not actually affecting the populations. But I was going to target trap the crayfish around the below the spawning beds i've identified the spawning areas and where the fry once they've hatched drift down into the shelters that we're going to create but i want to lower the crayfish populations because that's the only time the crayfish do any damage to the fish populations the rest of the time they're providing food For aim three of the Eden Revival, I've brought you to Bow Beach Reservoir. This reservoir is fed by the River Eden and I am very fortunate to live in that house over there, right on the banks. I get to see the carp spawning and the bream spawning and uh, don't fish it very often. But yeah, aim three was to improve safe access on our stretches of the river. At either end of the river stretches where we have access, we've put installed seven flat fishing platforms to allow elderly members to be able to still fish the river. Some of our more older members want to fish the rivers, but are worried about falling down the banks. So we've installed seven nice flat platforms.
Right, for aim four of the Eden Revival project, five aims for five years, I've brought you to the Edenbridge Town Stretch. This is it's free fishing here. This is the Edenbridge. Um, it's typical urban fishing. You can be fishing away. Uh, there'll be somebody magnet fishing next to you. There'll be somebody having a fight over there. <laughs> Anything can happen. But yeah, aim four was to improve knowledge and use of the river. To do that, we are gonna have some river walks. Uh, the dates, I'll put the dates up in a text underneath. So we'll be doing river walks with experienced uh, fishermen and they'll point out all the best bits and where to go. I'm quite looking forward to that part of the, the revival. So the first one is on a Tuesday night. Um, but yeah, that's aim four. Oh, I forgot to add, what we were going to do as well was um, get some illustrated maps of the two stretches that we uh, own and have them on the boards at the entrance to the fishery and naming swims and just, just trying to get people more familiar with areas because it's very easy to say, oh, it's the second bend or the third bend or the deep hole or this, that and the other. So some nice illustrated maps um, and they'll go on the club websites. So keep your eye out for that. That's aim four. Okay everybody, for aim five, I've brought you to Heaver Lake. You could not ask for a more beautiful estate lake. The River Eden runs into Heaver Lake and uh, this was all dug by hand. A load of Irish navvies came over and dug it all by hand, 60 acres, but consequently it's not particularly deep. Struggle to find four foot out there. Anyway, aim five, quite specific to Edenbridge Angling Club, was to broaden the membership. We've got about a thousand members and most of them fish just our two still waters. So we were trying to encourage use and knowledge on the other stretches of the, the river to get members go to different places and just ease a bit of the pressure on the lakes. So yeah, that was aim five. Hi everybody, um, that is the Eden Revival and our five aims for five years. Just want to thank everybody who's getting involved, all the people on the WhatsApp group and the support of uh, the Environment Agency through Andy Bruff and Joe Kitamozo and uh, all those guys helping and yeah, all the people coming along to work parties. If you want to get involved, comment on the YouTube channel, leave a comment and I'll reply and give you dates of when the work parties are and what we're doing next. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to the results. It's been a great experience so far and uh, I hope this video has given you a better understanding. Please leave a comment if you uh, want to get involved.